It's Shauna Myers in Los Angeles, California, just bathing in my bathing suit, as we all do. Of course, that's why it's called a bathing suit and why this is a family show. Today, holding on with some of my favorite premium Jane CBD products to make my bath awesome. Now, I don't know about you, but I love bathing. If I didn't live in LA where we're in the middle of a drought and taking a bath every day would literally bankrupt my condo building, I would take a bath every day. But as is, I can only take them about twice a week. So today is a celebration. So starting out with a um, premium CBD bath bomb from, whoops, hello, from Premium James. Yeah. I'm sure you've tried these before, but this is amazing because it has CBD in it, which means that as the hot or warm water, I like hot, um, opens up your pores, the CBD and other extracts go right into your pores, right into your bloodstream. So it's even more effective than like say a topical. So drop that bomb and as it fizzes up, I love the smell of eucalyptus. I don't know how you feel about it. They have lots of other flavors. Um, but eucalyptus is so calming, right? And it's so soothing. It makes you all calm and cute like a koala. And on top of that, it actually improves circulation to your brain, which really helps to reduce stress, right? And bring you to like a more... Um, balanced state of equilibrium. So I love this. It's all fizzy and a little bit green. I show you the, oh, you can sort of see the bath. I like to take it in by taking some really deep breaths. Now, believe it or not, I actually do my yoga in my bathtub, among other things, because I like to take a bath for like an hour and I got to fill the time. So let's start just for a moment, sitting up tall in a cross-legged position. And also I have to add that as somebody who has knee issues, having the CBD soaking in as I bathe makes it so much more comfortable to like say, sit for a while in a meditative pose. But we'll just do it for one or two minutes just to take in some deep, deep breaths and relax the body and relax the mind. When you sit for meditation, make sure your shoulders are in the back and down position. That may sound really obvious, and we hear that all the time, but so many people, their meditative position is somewhere like this. So they're sort of tall, they feel tall because their core is working, but you can see the shoulders rounding forward. So shoulders roll back and down, hands relax into your lap, and sitting up nice and tall, lifting from your chest. Let's just take some deep, deep breaths in. Ujjayi breath, right? So all the breath is passing through your nose, originating in the base of your throat. So it makes sort of like a hollow sound coming in and out of your body. And you can totally feel how the CBD goes right into your bloodstream when you soak with these bath bombs. In fact, you could soak, it will be effective for up to 45 minutes. I usually go for an hour because it's hard for me to get out of the bathtub. Um, but 45 minutes, you'll have fully effective um, benefits from this process. Let's just take one or two deep, deep more breaths. and release. Okay, so now that I've got my a bomb, I have to wash my face. 
Now I have to be honest, I always take a shower before taking a bath so I'm like not stewing in my juices. And when I wash my face, I use fresh water instead of the stewy juices. So this is the um, Creamy Charcoal Facial Cleanser. See, it's sort of green and brown. Not sure if you know about the benefits of charcoal, activated charcoal. But among other things, it literally like sucks toxins out of your body. So when you use this wash, and by the way, this is a daily wash, okay? Later I'll be talking about the scrub, which is not daily, it's just a few times a week for an extra deep clean. But when you use the daily wash, it takes away like all the dirt and the grime of everyday life. Even if like me, you're sort of living indoors right now due to COVID, dirt still builds up just like any other time in your life. And you do need to cleanse this out. Now the CBD is great for moisturizing and rejuvenating. Every day, I either take a bath, which is only twice a week, conserve water, be a good citizen, um, or the other days I go in my sauna. Now, these are both great and super, super helpful. However, they dry my skin like crazy. You would think that like a hot bath would be moisturizing, but it's not because hot bath means sweating out. So the CBD with the charcoal actually restores and brings back the hydration that you're compromising by taking lots of hot baths and saunas. And on top of it, this also has chamomile in it, which you know is nothing else from chamomile tea, right? Which means it's super common. And I love that it has ivy leaf extract in it, not ivy league extract, that's me. Hail all hail Cornell, but I be leaf extract for extra calming and hydration. So once I got that all cleansed up, let's rinse off my face and get ready for some bath yoga. Okay. So to start off, we'll be working towards a compass pose today. To start off, we'll take a little bit of a back bend. So reach your hands up. It's really just a puppy stretch and melt your head down towards the water. Now, the cool thing about stretching like this in your bathtub is that your hips sort of want to slide backwards because you're in water. And because I have the CBD in here, which is ultra moisturizing, which makes it a little slippery. So what this does is besides providing opening for my shoulders and my upper back, I also have to engage my core so that I don't just slide to the back of the bathtub. Take some deep breaths and each time you take those breaths, when you're using a eucalyptus bath bomb, it actually helps to improve the circulation in your mind and calm it down. There's a reason why koala bears are drunk on eucalyptus every day. Okay, come on up. Make sure you don't have anything in your eyes, which I do. And let's start just by giving a little knee hug. Okay, so hug your knees in tightly. This is pretty easy, but it's going to give you a little bit of a touch for your hips to prepare it for your compass. Now, compass has a number of elements, one of which, of course, is hamstring opening. So, I'll take my left leg down like I'm sitting in a sukhasana position. And with my right leg, you can hold the back of your leg anywhere or all the way to the arch of your foot and see if you can pull your leg up towards your face. Now, if you want to hook the foot, but you're not quite that bendy, you can always use a washcloth, which I don't have. 
So you'll just have to use your imagination. Notice how my arms are pulling out and back, much as they're going to have to when I move into the compass position. And release. Okay, let's take the second side. Another thing, by the way, as I soak in this eucalyptus is that it's also anti-inflammatory, which is one of the reasons why it helps in addition to the hemp to um, alleviate any pain that I might have in my muscles. So again, hugging, if you're hugging from the back, just press through your ear to go as far out and up as you can. Even if it's here, make sure the energy is heal away from hip. And if you can, hold on tightly and pull those arms back. Mm. Breathe. The eucalyptus, by the way, eucalyptus is just like such an amazing ingredient. It's also antiseptic. So it helps to keep you super clean all the way down to the pore level. And maintaining the deep breathing while you're in the bath with the bath bomb, again, just helps to cleanse the whole nervous system. And release. I don't know about you, I feel calm already. Okay, so moving back to our right leg. We're gonna cradle this guy like a baby. So if you can, Left elbow grabs right foot, right elbow grabs right knee, and you sort of hug it to your chest. If that's too hard, do it this way instead. Hold from beneath, like you're holding a whole bunch of logs or something, because don't we all just carry a whole bunch of logs around? Um, now, again, because of the slidiness of being in a bathtub, I'm gonna slide forward so I don't wind up behind my curtain. Um, there's always gonna be a core element involved here. My bottom leg, again, is in a sukhasana or half a sukhasana position. To open up, go a little side to side like this. This helps to sort of ease your hip into the pose. In fact, I'm gonna face you to make this a little more clear. Okay, so my goal, of course, is to get this leg parallel to my chest and my shoulders parallel to the wall in front of me. Now it might look like I'm twisting a little bit over there because the camera's a little bit over there, but once I find square, I hold, okay? So you don't want to just move around. When you're trying to accomplish anything in yoga, idle movement does not serve you. Sometimes it helps you to get deeper into a preparatory pose, but once you get there, stay there. Couple more breaths. Deep, nice, re rich breaths. You do know, of course, one more thing. I have to say one more thing, because I love eucalyptus. You know, it's also a decongestant, right? Like they have it in a lot of cold remedies, for example. So it helps to clean the nasal passages. Once you feel like you're all set here, take this right leg, I'm gonna have to face forward again, and throw it over your right shoulder. Now, when we do something like this, it's one of the few things where you can actually crouch down in yoga. Right? Normally, we're sitting up tall. That's not going to work because look how high my knee is compared to where my shoulder is. In order to get my knee to this height, there will have to be some, some rounding in my spine. So I round down as much as necessary to hoist my knee behind my shoulder. I, you can have it just above your elbow, but in front of your shoulder if that's what works for your body, but the higher it is, the easier it's gonna to be to find the full expression of the pose. So once my leg is way up, so it's my right foot, I take my left hand up and over to the pinky edge of the foot, my right hand comes down, and then my right leg goes out and into extension 
as I rotate my chest away from the leg. When you do this, you can smell your left armpit and know if you did a good job of showering before you bathed. And if not, you need to wash up again. Notice how my top elbow is pulling back and in alignment. How do I straighten that right leg? By pulling the heel actively from the hip and release. So once again, being in the tub adds this amazing core aspect, what would otherwise mostly just be a stretch. Let's get to the other side. Just like the chicken crossing the road. So I take my leg, my left leg. I can do it this way if I need something a little easier. Or it's elbow to knee and elbow to foot if I can handle something a little deeper. I rock back and forth just for a moment to open the hip. The bigger your bathtub, the easier this is gonna be to do, of course. I have this tiny little pathetic bathtub, but it does serve my purposes. Once you find that your shoulders are square and your leg is as close to your chest as possible, you also wanna make sure it's sort of parallel. The tendency is gonna be knee in, foot out. So you wanna focus I'm pulling the foot in so the leg is right there, smack dab against your chest. And breathe deeply. And yes, I can still smell the eucalyptus. Again, it's gonna last for quite a while. Even if what they consider to be the therapeutic benefits last for about 45 minutes, this smell will last a lot longer and it's so refreshing. Okay, let's get to it. So I grab my left foot with my right hand and scoot my left shoulder way underneath. Again, you can see how much my spine is rounding to accommodate the length or the lack of length in my femur. My left hand comes down and my right hand comes over the top. Right, so I'm grabbing the pinky toe edge from the top of the foot and I push my heel up and away. You see now that I'm facing you how much my chest opens and my elbow is pulling back and I'm smelling good. The shower worked. If you can, you could lie your head right on top of your leg on this one. Again, the straightening of the leg is not so much about the knee pressing straight as it is about the heel pulling away from your hip. And release. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my facial scrub. Okay, so this is the Premium Jane CBD Facial Scrub with, you guessed it, eucalyptus. Now, unlike the facial wash, which is really an everyday thing, the scrub is more for just a few times a week for like really, really deep cleaning. It's purely organic hemp, so you know there's no crud in here. And it helps to like even your skin tone and make it all like glowing. Now, once you have this and you're massaging your face, which they suggest you do for a few, a few minutes, um, hold on one sec. You know, I can't do two things at once. I love massaging my face anyway, because those of you who know, I have these things. I call them my Homer Simpsons because they're like that yellow circle around his mouth because my laugh lines are so pronounced. So my first suggestion to you, if you don't want to grow old like this, is just don't smile that much because I smile all the time. That's my problem. I'm joking about that part. But 
As we massage this in gentle, you don't want to rip your skin off your face, circular motions. What I recommend is that you do some facial yoga to strengthen the muscles of your face, just like you strengthen all of the muscles in your whole body. So first, we'll close our mouth and puff our cheeks like puffer fish, like this. Continue to massage. Okay, now we'll do the opposite and pull our mouths way apart to stretch the front of the face and really work the back muscles of the face. It looks like that really big smile I told you not to do. And then kissy face like this. Like you could be like a real life emoji. I know that's what you always wanted to be. So, oh, by the way, make sure you're always using warm water because it helps the phytonutrients to um, absorb into your skin. So, kissy face. You can see how kissy face gets rid of my Homer Simpsons. If I could only go around like this all day long, it would be like I had no facial um, wrinkles. And then let's get the throat, okay? So chin out and up. I don't know about you, but I usually forget to wash this part. And one last little yoga thing for your face. Take your mouth like this and stretch it back with your bottom jaw sort of pushing out like this. Circular motions. Don't smile, it's gonna give you lines. And stop. Because I was only joking about the facial yoga. I don't really do that, but I really do use the scrub. Sorry, folks. Okay. Let's rinse with fresh water. Feeling all refreshed, rejuvenated. I could actually, no joke, feel the hydration. Usually when I take a bath, I use products, unfortunately, that have perhaps some pretty harsh chemicals, like say salicylic acid and stuff, that leave my skin feeling really, really dry. When I use these products, it's just the opposite. The premium Jane leaves me feeling like really rejuvenated and it helps to even out some of the uneven skin tone that I unfortunately have. But it's going away. Let's finish off today with an L sit. Now the cool thing about being in a bathtub is L sit is it very, I shouldn't say very easy. Let's say very much easier to do. Take your legs out in front and lift and hold. See if you can get high enough that your feet are above the edge of your tub. Hold. And release all the way. I hope that your bath is as wonderful as mine. By the way, if you use code Shauna, S-H-A-N-A, because I know everyone says I spell it incorrectly, but I don't. It's just how I spell my name. You'll get 20% off everything on the Premium Jane website. So go there. I'm going here. Have a great day. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, getting in for the rest of my bath. Thank <laughs> you.